Ah, good evening, everyone. I hope everyone is good. I hope everyone is fine. Thank you so much for joining me. This is so exciting. I haven't done something like this before. So if you don't know, I'll just pop it in the chat so that you can pre-save it. My EP comes out in a few hours, um, the 11th of November. Um, it's called Ashe. And it's a very special project because it comes from a very pure and genuine place. It comes from a lot of emotions and feelings. And yeah, it's my most vulnerable project. And I'm really excited to share it with everyone. So um, I didn't, yeah, so more people are waiting in the waiting room. So I'm just gonna play some more music and we will kick off at about nine, 10 past, if that's okay. So five more minutes and we will kick off. I'm just gonna play some more music. Feel free to chat to me in the, in the chat box. Can everyone hear me? Fantastic. Thank you guys so much for joining. It's really sweet that you take time out of your evening to unwind with me. If you don't have herbs, if you don't have candles, incense, some wine right now, a glass of water, please go get some. I'm about to start playing Ashe. And it is a very, it's a mood. It's, it's, it's such a mood. And I just need everyone to unwind with me and listen to it. So if you don't have anything right now, no herb, wine, anything, water, whatever floats your boat, please go get some, giving you a minute. Um, but while everyone is going to get what they will unwind with, um, this is just basically a listening experience. I want everyone to just like settle down with it, unwind with it, listen to it, just let it really capture your soul. I feel like a lot of the time now, with the way we consume music and the way the psychology of music has shifted. We listen to music passively and in the background and almost gone are the days where you sit next to a vinyl and you can't skip the music. You have to like commune with it from the top to the bottom, no, no skipping and stuff. So I just want that. I would just want this experience to be like that. Yes, herb, <laughs> it's medicinal. Um, sorry, I'm looking at the chats and talking. So yeah. Um, I just want everyone to really get into it and really listen to it. And I hope it makes you feel the way it made me feel the first time I listened to it. And still up till, up till now, it's so healing and therapeutic for me. Okay, I think I'm gonna start now. So hopefully I don't mess this up. Um, but yeah, just gonna make sure that Everyone can see my screen and we will go. Actually worth mentioning, I'm not going to stop. We're just going to keep going and listen to the whole thing until the very end. So please close your eyes and just really soak this music in. Slip sometimes. I say words that I don't really mean. I have clenched fists sometimes. I hold on to what doesn't serve me. This song is about the things I'm too afraid to say. This song is a note to things I feel I like don't. This song is a prayer to God, I hope she hears me now Amen to things her grace would have me learn I receive love, I receive peace
Thought I was strong, thought I was powerful, weather any storm. If not, I can power through. I believed I could fly, reach out and touch the sky. Feel God every time. Now it feels like it's all a lie. Oh, I never believed a lie this long for so long. It's crazy to see my life drift away. Now I'm calling somebody, please anybody come to my rescue. Why don't you pray for, pray for me? Cause I need, need, need it. My heart is bleed, bleed, bleed it. Why don't you pray for, pray for me? Pray for me. I know I must fight. Fight back and cross the line that said I shouldn't cross. I shouldn't cross and take back what is mine. As whatever I cost, what is dead may never die. But if you look into my eyes, there's no spark to start to fight. Oh, I've never been this tired for long. For so long. Me, I never see this kind of life as high. Now I'm calling somebody.
We can all be free. It's 21.30. Ah! <gasps> yeah, bang on 9.30. How do you feel? You feel great? That's great. How does everyone feel? Off your microphone. I say off. Put it on. Unmute yourselves. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> don't even really have the did. words. I don't even have the words. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Really Start from the top. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Davina. This is awesome. Oh, thank yeah. you. This is fantastic. It's fantastic. Oh, thank you. We can't wait to talk in there, man. Drop it. Drop it right now. <laughs> I mean, I was feeling I'm sick when like, this is making is it better, over so already? all good. Is oh, no, it's not already? over. No, not, no, it's not over. I'm going to like, um, so the producers of this of this project are on the call, which is amazing. Um, so we're just going to talk about it, and then I'm going to play it from top to bottom again to end the meeting okay. so that everyone can mm-hmm. get to hear it again and then actually like talk about each song because I'm aware that I didn't say what they were. I just played it. So yeah, we yeah. just we loved it. Thank oh, you. Glad. Ah. All right, so let's start. Um, does anyone have any questions before I actually like start talking? Because I might say something you're not interested in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. You're ready? I should just talk. No question. I mean, maybe from your talking, then questions will spring up because we don't want to say ask things that you would already cover. I don't. I just didn't want to say anything. I was not ready. So left that. God blessed me with two grants, right? Um, thank you so much, Joyce. I appreciate you guys so much. The chat is just so it's full of love. Um, I was blessed with two grants when I really wanted to give up music because if you know, you know. Um, and so it really pushed me to like actually bring this all to life. Um, I started off writing Yoke first, which was the third song, and then everything just like spiraled out. But I think this project taught me how to let go. It taught me how to not have to be so controlling and just expect that everything would go the way I want it to go. Cause I'm very impatient and I can be very controlling, but this project taught me to let go. Um, so the first track is called So Let It Be. I wrote it in my mom's kitchen when I was living at home. And I just finished listening to Ego LMA, Ego, Ego LMA, um, her song, Girls Don't Always Sing About Boys. Has anyone ever heard about that song before? Anyway, I heard this song and I thought, I would really love to write a song that is this vulnerable and true to me. And then I started writing immediately. I was just like, I have loose lips sometimes. It literally just poured out of me. And if you know me or have heard me talk about my work before, a lot of my songs are practically word vomit. Like I just like throw out and pour out everything that is in my spirit. I hardly edit. And if I do, that means, you know, what I've said hasn't been said properly. Um, And I just kept writing and writing and writing. And I linked up with the amazing Sizzle Pro. He's on the call and um, he produced the track. My sister Priye did the background vocals for me. Thank you so much, Bri, for always like being there for me musically. So that was the creation of the track. It was a lot of back and forth to get it to way, oh, thank you, Bri, to get it to where it is now. But um, yeah, that was So Let It Be. Pray For Me was a single, that's the second song, that was a single for this EP. So it came out in August. Some of you might have already heard it. In fact, if you haven't heard it, I'm vexing. <laughs> Go and listen to it now. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, listen to Pray For Me. Um, it's on every single platform you can think of. Um, Pray For Me was written and produced by Sizzle Pro. So this is the first song that I did not write myself to show you how I actually like let go of the process. <laughs> and Sizzle literally like, I didn't, I didn't know how to write to the, to the instrumental when he sent it to me. And so I was just like, look, please help me. And then he sent it back and it was exactly how I was feeling. It was such a spiritual thing. Music is spiritual, guys. Like, it is, it is. exactly what he wrote. That's exactly how I felt. I was like, oh, please, if you can pray for me, pray for me because I don't tire. Literally, that look into my eyes, there's no spark to start a fire. That's literally, like, I felt like there was no life in my soul. So 
it made me really excited about the song. And if you know me, my MO is like, write about your feelings, but in a way that people can still dance to it or still move to it. So <laughs> that was like, that was really dope. So yeah, um, those are the first two songs on the EP. If Sizzle is on the call, I know he is, I'm just gonna unmute him. I'm here. Oh, you're Sorry. here. I knew you were here. Yeah. Well, that's I'm here now. Up. All right, tell me about your experience right. with this EP. Um, well, like you just said, the music is spiritual. So it making this project came um, at the time, it was quite a peculiar time in my life. Uh, just come back from school, just came back to Nigeria. And then a week later, I got robbed of like 10 oh, years worth me. of music. I lost everything, yeah. really. So um, this was the first project that I started working on after that. You know, so it, uh, it's, it's, it's weird, but in a good weird because um, it got me back on track. And then when we talked about what you wanted to say, the words were pretty much just rolled out. You know, I just heard word vomit for the first time in my life. It was kind of a similar thing because when you connect with uh, an artist and then you're working on a project, if you really, really connect, the music is very magical. It just comes along, you know? And um, not that it was entirely smooth. There's a lot of back and forth. There's a lot of music being sent and it's like, ah, it doesn't hit me. <laughs> it's not there yet, you know? Yeah. And that's, that happens a lot. I and mean, if you're working with uh, an artist that you're sure that whatever you guys decide upon at the end of the day would be dope, you don't, you don't really, you don't really care about those kinds of stuff. Because when you're working with an artist that you just want to get it over with, collect your money and go. And be going. That's when, that's when you get pissed. When they're like, okay, can we tweak this? Can we try something else? And um, working on this project was not like that. And it. Again, being a weird timing thing, it came at the point in my life, I was like, you know what? I'm not chasing this music thing as a commercial endeavor anymore. Yeah. I'm just going to make yeah. the type of music I like with people that I like. And if I make money from it, it's fine. If I don't, I get to make the best music that I wanted to make. And okay. um, this was pretty dope. So thank you for the opportunity. Oh, no, thank and, um, you honestly and thank you for the patience and thank you for like connecting with me deeper than just like a transactional do you know what I mean mm -hmm. it wasn't a transaction yeah. it was like deeper than that because a few times that like, we actually spoke at length I felt heard and I felt seen and I felt understood which made me feel really safe to like keep sharing wow. these really intimate things with you so thank you Great. so much King. I really appreciate thank you it. too I hope everybody enjoys the music because I did I'm, enjoy making it. Oh, I know. I know you really put your heart into it, which I, I've known because of like, I've listened to the stuff that you made, you know, previously. So yeah, thank you so much. Um, we're going to talk about Yoke actually, which is the third song. Um, that was actually how we started working together. So at this the point, first song I, we made, yes, yeah. it was the first song we did. At this point, I didn't know I was doing an EP. Um, mm -hmm. I remember I played like, plonky piano and like yeah i still have those demos in my email somewhere so when you blow up i'm going to leak them <laughs> i don't remember that. i actually don't remember them um i came with me you said you wanted to i'll just unmute you because you asked to say something um go on wait oh yeah um i just wanted to say by extension um the pray for me song actually <laughs> immersed that to me because the way you lot felt really down and everything just felt <laughs> it felt like nothing was working or things were working but they were like uncomfortable the way mm. just it was just <laughs> I could I couldn't just deal and the song just came out and I was like oh my god like, mm. there was there was no way <laughs> there was no way this song came out at the right time. Mm. So it's 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 such a heartwarming one. Oh, I'm glad. I'm so yeah, glad I came. Following the project, like, um, 
I mean, you already have a playlist anyways. All, all your songs are definitely going into the playlist. That's my playlist, so. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate you, Akimbi. Thank you. So, like, man, Sizzle, like, when I, when I sent that demo to you, wait, where is Sizzle? Did he go away? I'm right here. Oh. Ah! Okay, I'm back. Okay, now. there you are. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, sorry. When I send that to you, yeah, again, I'm mm-hmm. so emotional and always in my feelings, like David writing Psalms and stuff. That was literally how I felt. I felt like I was dealing with a lot of like demons. So break every yoke. I was basically saying, God, fight these demons for me because <laughs> like, um, but yeah, that was the first thing that we worked on. And I didn't know that it was going to be part of the EP until we started like working out on the songs more and then I thought yeah Yoke would like slap right in there what was that like for you did you feel anything or was it just like (laughs) well um I remember it was um this would have to be October 2019 I believe oh God remembers dates and you were right (laughs) receipts (laughs) (laughs) and then and I think you had tweeted something about writing love songs I was like hey Yes. Tell me one of those. Let's see what we can do. And then out of the stack of demos you sent, Yoke was one of them. And I remember just making a verse and a hook. And I was like, hmm, this is interesting. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then sent it to you. And by the time you sent it back, it had a second verse. Yes. And pretty much a complete song. I was like, okay. <laughs> and... You know, sometimes you just don't know where things go. Yeah. You, 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 have, you have a desire to work with someone. Yeah, like, hey, let's try something out. And I have songs sitting down in, in my email and on my computer six, seven years, and then no, nothing really happens. So once in a while, you get in sync with the artist. And that usually happens when you find the right song. You know, the first two or three songs, you can tell if, you are going to be working long term with somebody. And Yoke was that song. I remember I sent you music for another one. I can't remember which of those demos I'd have to check. But Yoke, it just pretty much stood out. And I was like, okay, the song is complete. Mm. That's really how I felt. And Aww. Yeah, I remember the other song, though. It was a love song. But then yeah. the way I'm writing, I feel like it's just this like place I've put myself in. The way I write, anything to do with like my spirit or my soul, I feel it really deeply. So I'm always like mm-hmm. paying more attention there for some reason. But yeah. Which which I think is good because I think people should, artists these days should focus on making projects, you know, to kind of get the whole thought out, mm. flesh it out, talk about what you're really feeling. I know... Uh, people are more single focused now and you yeah. just want to get that hit song but you should try and I love artists that think project wise yeah and I think the yeah. title of the project coming maybe when we're like 60 70 percent in yes. and you said this was the title I was like aha this is this explains why there were some other songs that were supposed to be for the project that ended up not being on the project and uh, absolutely when the title kind of um put a button on it and i was like okay i understand where this is going this uh, through line through all the the songs that the thoughts are not the same but the place if that makes any sense is the same so you understand <laughs> absolutely right the place is the same that is so true yeah Yeah, you you yeah you put it all together I'm just gonna backtrack on what you said before I move on to Tiwa's um me and Tiwa's um collaboration um what made me fall in love with artists was their projects so that's why it's very Mm -hmm. difficult or challenging yeah my fiance would actually attest to that it's very challenging for me to fall in love with an artist like a new artist like I have to listen to a project. I have to listen to a lot of songs for them before I actually like mm-hmm. fall in love. But nowadays, because all I hear are singles and singles and singles, it's hard for me to fall in love with an artist. I'm not sure if any anybody else like relates to that, but your favorite artist, you fell in love with a project, not just a song. 
so mm-hmm. yeah you really like capture the essence or really like resonate with them and their person and their essence thank you king i'm gonna move on now Great. but then i'm coming back because you're doing you you did the last one no so, problem so basically where's tua tua dara Anyway, while T.Y. is getting himself together. Amen is the um, the fourth song on the EP. And um, I wrote that with Tiwa Dara. Tiwa co-wrote and produced it. And it's basically just about saying amen to things that I'm finally like able to do. So in the song, I should actually go back to So Let It Be and talk about the lyrics. But before I do that, in Amen, where there is a casting down, I see a rising up, like... I know it's a Bible verse, very typical of me, I'm aware, but um, I was able to say amen to that because I was finally like in a place where I wasn't comfortable being on the ground anymore. I was just like, even if everybody else is on the ground, me, I'm getting up. And even in the second verse where it says like, I'm selective of the people around me. Like as I grew older, my circle became smaller and smaller and smaller. And my mom always told me that that was a sign of growth and that that was a sign of like maturity and I'm proud of the fact that I'm selective of people at my table and I'm proud of this fact that my circle is small and these are the things that I would I wasn't like proud of or sure about when I was younger because I wanted everyone to like me and I wanted to fit in with everyone but now I'm comfortable with the fact that I'm not like everyone else and just because it's happening to everyone else it's not going to happen to me. Um, So Tiwa is a very dear 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 friend of mine even though we actually haven't met in person. Tiwa, are you there? Anyway, you haven't actually met in person. He's not a catfish, he's actually here, I promise you. So like, when we work together, yeah, it just clicks. Like, I don't need to like talk too much. He just understands. He's connected my sound card all along. You're, you were connected to your sound card? <laughs> yeah. How did he been? Because this one is always making music. My microphone, my microphone was off. So. Oh, bless you. But were you hearing me? Yeah, I was. And you I was agree re- with me. I was replying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um see what I was just telling them that like every time we work together, it's just it just clicks. I don't need to explain myself too much, which makes it really fun and comfortable for me. Um yeah. and like a safe space. And even though we haven't met, the conversations that we've had, I've always like enjoyed them and I've just like enjoyed spending time with you virtually. And you're just like such a cool kid to me. Um mm. And like, yeah, man, it's just like always a blessing to like work with you. I look forward to doing it again soon. I don't know when, probably after my wedding, but I will. I will. Um, yeah, tell me about your experience, man, because you co-wrote it, you produced it. Okay, Um. so I was thinking of what I would say because I usually don't have much to say like that. Or maybe this topic I prepared about, I don't know. But it's difficult for me to just like say a lot of words. Mm. But I was thinking of something that um, you're one artist that when I send stuff to and they're like, wow, mad, perfect, this is it. And I'm like, wait, nothing else? Are you sure? Like, I'm always shocked that the quick connection, because like, when you work with other artists that they're like, oh, can we do this? Can we raise the trumpet down? Can we change this? And I know you have like specific details you always want. So I'm always shocked when we always like get in sync and in sec- on second demo, we had in fact first demo sometimes. I remember there was a time when the song we were trying to change things. Yeah. And we go back to the initial demo because it was already perfect. So like you just had to go back to the initial version and like now nah, it was good already. So like yeah. it's strange, it's interesting. And also you said um we have conversations and I was looking at the lyrics. Um I I don't know if I should say roots because <laughs> I you can't. vomited. It was a word vomit. <laughs> Yeah, so, <laughs> so I was like, um, you don't have to follow we, all of its vibes, I beg, make me breathe. So like I could connect to the tension and the um, pressure, you know, to pull out stuff, to do stuff. So um, I was like, best believe there's nothing to just leave us your vibes right now. And of course, like the verse was pure vibes, actually. Because The I think verse was, was vibes, and I loved that. <laughs> yeah. I loved that. <laughs> I love how I'm very like intentional about my lyrics, but you're not. But yeah. it sounds like 
you were playfully intentional. Does that even make sense? <laughs> so okay. yeah, it comes from play, then the intention comes up. Like I put some intention inside, like things where for, um, sentence is like, I believe past what I see. I draw strength from years we carried upon our knees. I think I got support from you for that. But yeah, so there's playfulness in the delivery and um, in the writing. Mm. Uh, but yeah, the intention doesn't get lost at the end of the day. Yeah, it doesn't get lost. It doesn't get lost. It was oh. fun. And it oh. was fun receiving the demos too. <laughs> yeah, my demos are always <laughs> quite interesting. But thank you so much for just working with me man like i really appreciate you and king sizzle pro i keep calling him king because that's his name but sizzle pro i really appreciate okay you. um and yeah so the very last song i'm gonna go back to talk about so let it be because i have i have more to say but the very last song free it was produced by um sizzle pro and it was co-written by jabo ogranya Ogar- so the thing is, Jabel, I've always admired his music. And um, he was one of those artists where I would always have like one of his songs and one of like my chill playlists. And I know that when I first released Love to a Mortal back in 2017, he reached out to me shortly after to say that he would like to write for me. So when Sizzle sent me one of these instrumentals that I couldn't write to, I heard the instrumental and I thought that Jabel would be great at co-writing it. Um, and then I sent it to him and he sent the song, back, the song back to me. And literally the one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, always ready to go. That whole, that pre-chorus and the chorus was him. Like everything there was just him. And then the verses were just like, I, I saw them and I was just like, that's not what I want to say. <laughs> so my controlling spirit came out and then I stripped the verses, rewrote the verses, but then I kept that pre-chorus and chorus there. And I was just like, this is, this is perfect. So like, I was so pleased with the way, it, with the way um, the writing and the arrangement came out. But before that happened, I went through a hurtful period of my life where I felt so untalented. And I feel like a lot of artists go through this, but this one came because I heard it from someone I really respect, right? So I remember two days after I had that conversation where, you know, the feedback I got was really hurtful and really discouraging. I remember I was like, I still have to record this EP. I remember the last, the last two songs I recorded on the EP were Pray For Me and Free. And I remember going into the studio and I literally just sat there and I was like, God, I'm tired, I'm really discouraged, but it's me and you today, we have to finish this song. Like we have to record it. And I usually like recording alone only because like, I just feel like because there's no one over my shoulders, I don't need to feel like I need to impress anyone or I feel like I need to like sound a certain way. I just try to be as raw as possible. Um, And I recorded it and I remembered like, I thought that the vocal production was going to be like cumbersome for me because like, you know, Jabel sent it without any like, apart from the, intro melodies and the intro harmonies I had no other guidance so yeah just vocal producing it you know all the harmonies the backup vocals the stacking everything it was so raw and so real to me and so like natural and I felt really good I felt really really good and really proud of myself in that point that I was just like I was able to do that even through like the weight of discouragement that was in my on my shoulders when I was walking into the studio. Um, Jabel isn't on this call right now, I couldn't make it, but I really like, apart from the fact that I waited ages to hear back from him, like why do people in Nigeria ghost all the time? I don't understand, but anyway, um, I appreciate him. Um, <laughs> I appreciate him. And when I got it back, it was just like a very beautiful thing for me to listen to and I was really happy. Sizzle, like what was in your mind when you produced that instrumental? Like where was your mind at? Cause it's very like, like extraterrestrial tribal. Does that make sense? Yes. Well, eventually, right? I don't (laughs) think, I don't think that's what I was thinking of um, when I made that. Um, The thought for me when making a song is, always the same what do you think the artist would sound like on this so I'm 
thinking like the artist. Um, and I thought you would sound good on that. And then just in terms of how it felt, because I know, I know and I'm sure most of us um, can attest to this, most of what music does for you is not necessarily in the words. Yes. Yeah. Just about how it feels. Exactly, exactly. So exactly. the words are to aid the feeling. So sometimes if the words uh, get in the way of the feeling, then you kind of mess up a song. So that's my state of mind every time. I might start off making something really that's dope, mm. but then eventually doesn't sound like the artist. So in yeah. our process of, of, of making Free, I remember the Free and Pray For Me were the last batch yes. of music that I sent. Yes. And I remember, but let's say the entire project uh, of duration, I sent maybe 15, 20 tracks. Just know there's at least 60 that started off for you and then just veered off into something else. And I'm like, ah, nah, let's, let's go again. You know, imagine. so I remember out of a batch of about six that I was making, Pray For Me and Free were the two that was like, okay, this feels like Divina, mm -hmm. right? But then I, was, I sat on it for maybe two weeks I remember you see. hesitated to send BDs. I remember. <laughs> yeah. Remember. Took a long time, yeah? Yeah, I remember. You hesitated. I was just like, ah, what is What's happening here? What's happening? <laughs> then in your email, when you sent it, you were like, you didn't want to, you, you had basically the email implied that you hesitated. And I was confused because when I heard them, the first thing I did was dance. Like, I was yeah. just like, oh, it feels nice. So, yeah, man, that's so interesting. Yeah, so sometimes you, you as a creative, you, you hold back, but the power of collaboration is the other person knows or is able to, to you know, tell you, Chama, just that this, this is actually what this is, you know, yeah. instead of you waiting, I was waiting for that, you know, celestial idea that I would add mm -hmm. to the music and echo to make it come alive. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, sometimes you have to let it go. And even if it's reluctantly, mm. you let it go, let the other person um, put what they have to put on it. And I remember when Free came back, I was like, you, you are happy now that you let it go, right? <laughs> because that great idea that I wanted to elevate the song was exactly what you and Jabo put on the song. So I was like, Ah, okay, oh. I don't have to, you know, hold back till I have put in all the magic. Absolutely, you know, absolutely, absolutely. And I feel like, um, I feel like that's another thing that a lot of artists do. Well, a lot of artists on my level, let me be, let me be more accurate and more modest, um, <laughs> is that we sometimes, well, I don't do this anymore, but sometimes we restrict ourselves to what the production is but that's what collaboration like what the instrumental is that is given to us like we just restrict to what it is already there but like no like you're you can strip back and you can add on top and like what you get sent is just the indication of the direction it's going to it's not the final product I never view, I never listen to it as a final product I just listen to it as this is indication as where it could go so yeah. when I feel like it's going somewhere then I pick it up Thank you, King. Welcome. Um, I'm just going to answer this question before I talk about So Let It Be, and then I'm going to take questions, and this, then we're going to listen to the EP again, and then we can all go and unwind and sleep. Um, I hope you people are sleeping, Sha, because a lot of us in our age group, we stress ourselves a lot. <laughs> um, so Claire says, if you like, he said to me. I'm talking to you. I totally relate to not wanting someone over your shoulders when you record your vocals, Davina. Did you do the recording engineer set up yourself then? Yeah, I recorded myself for this EP. I'm not the perfect person when it comes to recording myself, but I feel like I'm more myself when I do that. And it's a good, like, it's good training for me to do that. And I feel like I do all right. Um, not the best, but I feel like I do all right. Um, yeah, so... I'm just gonna unmute all of you, all of you people. If you can, please 
throw any questions at me so that I can quickly answer them for you. And then we can listen one more time and then we can all go home. You're probably already home, but yeah. <laughs> any questions? It's 22 hours. Joshua! Yo, what's up? Yo. Yo. Hello? Congrats. Thank you very much, Joshua. I feel, I feel like we're all in the same room, which is very cool. Yeah, this is a, it's a really cool experience. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you think so. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, okay, you're here. Do you have any questions? Can you release the album one hour earlier? Do we have to wait <gasps> I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish I could do that. I wish I could do yeah. that. But I no questions. I think no questions. I think it's awesome that we can get this additional context, um, and it just makes the project a lot more special to everyone that's listening. So I hope in some way that the folks that are known on this call can also um, hear what this um, what the songs mean to you. Yes. And Process as well, so that'll be awesome. But yeah, no questions from here. Man. This is this is beautiful. I'm happy oh, that I meet. Thank you, Joshua. Yeah. I appreciate you, and thank you for all your help with like just setting my mind straight and like guiding and directing me with this. I really appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, I'm putting up to. my moody ass. <laughs> yeah, we did, we did. You know the vibes, so that's cool. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. No problem at all. Um, so quick, hi, Quixie. I just think it was really lovely learning how you were all able to work out your work into such beautiful blend that yielded this really edifying body of work. You're really sweet. Thank you so much. And then um, Nana says so beautiful. Thank you, babe. Then agreed. So cool to get this context and hear the making of. Thanks for taking us on your journey. Oh. I really appreciate you guys listening and just being here and just like communing with me as we listen to this and just talk about it. Um, if we don't have any more questions, we can just listen to the EP again and call it a night. But I'm just gonna wait one more minute just in case anyone has any more questions. Um, oh, and I just want to say, cause when um, you were talking and Pro shared how he had a terrible incident before he started working on um, this project with you. I just thought it's so wonderful when we go through difficulty and then the the process of healing is I mean in that process we bring something that will bring healing to other people. Yeah. It just yeah, it really gets me and I think that's great. So I'd like to just say thank you for not hiding somewhere and giving us this wonderful piece of work with Davina. It's really good. Oh, Quixie, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. But like, yeah, what you said, absolutely. Like the chaos in it, like literally you have the comeback, the setback before the comeback. Like that's just how life is. You just like throw stuff at you and then you come out stronger. <sighs> Cameron says, it's a beautiful album, but I don't expect, oh, I don't expect anything less from you. That's really sweet. Thank you so much. And hands up says, have you started working on your next body of work? <laughs> or do you take creative breaks? <laughs> do you know what? I don't take creative breaks because I want to take creative breaks. I take creative breaks because life forces me to stop creating. Like, so if, if I, I believe this is a safe space because people that are around me don't have bad vibes, all of you. Um, a lot has happened in my life. Like I have a new job. I'm engaged, I am pushing out this music, I am starting like a new like little business, I'm doing a lot, right? And I honestly, like when I'm too busy or when I'm too overwhelmed, I can't actually create. And anyone that does music or does something creative on the side or does something creative and works a nine to five, you can attest to that, that it's when you're doing all these things, you your creative juices aren't actually flowing. So no, I don't take, if I had my way, I would never take a creative break. I, I, I honestly love creating music. It's my favorite thing to do. 
I love writing music. It's I love writing music. So no, I wouldn't take crazy breaks if I could. But um, my next body of work, I hope it's soon because I really do miss the creative process. Would you write with me? I'm not talented. You're not a what? You're not as talented. Who told you that? <laughs> <laughs> Who told you that? You write with me then. If you're the one asking, write with me. All right. These days you don't even need talent, Seth. So my, my, my dear. It's true. The shade. The shade. <laughs> But yeah, I hope it's soon. I really hope it's soon. Like I was actually thinking about it because pushing out this EP, I have made mistakes or rather done things that I'm learning from, right? And I was thinking about it today. I was just like, look, I know I'm tired and stuff, but like I've learned so much pushing this EP out and creating this EP. Like I want to do it again so that I can like apply what I have learned. I'm not going to lie to you. Like that's what I was thinking. I was like, oh, I want to do it again. But um yeah 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 do you want to listen to it again let's go yes yeah. i'm so excited um do you guys want me to yeah. break hey, hi, Mercy. do you guys want me to break in between or do you want me to just go through finish and then we go home wait okay. break in between Break in between. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't have breaks, so that um, I think breaks are cool. So you want the breaks, or you don't want the breaks? Breaks or no breaks? You want breaks. breaks. You want breaks. Mm -hmm. Let's get into this, okay? <laughs> Maybe break dancing. <laughs> break dancing? Why? I say break dancing. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Of which, when you're listening to it, close your eyes, it enters better. I have loose lips sometimes. I say words that I don't really mean. For some time, I hold on to what doesn't serve me. This song is about the things I'm too afraid to say. This song is a note to things I feel I don't deserve. This song is a prayer to God. I hope she hears me now. Amen to things her grace would have me learn. I receive love, I receive peace, I don't care what 
I will still let it be. <sighs> hey. Hey. Oh, actually, I might want to say something about this. This song, yeah, why it's so vulnerable for me is because if you don't know, I have found it hard to accept good things or accept that I'm worthy of good things for a very long time. And um, I'm exploring deeper and deeper why that is, but that's why this song is so special to me because in the song, I'm admitting to my insecurities and my failures. Like I have loose lips sometimes. I don't say words that I mean. Like sometimes the silence drives me nuts. I'm in a mood, I'm a moody ass bitch. Like I'm so like, there's so like everyone just full of flaws, right? But then daring to say that you receive love and you receive peace and you don't care what people think. And, you know, just toasting to peace of mind and love requite and wealth and mental health and just like accepting good things. It's like a hard thing for me. So, you know, singing about it in this song is very therapeutic and very special. <sighs> okay, next song. Sorry, one second. Thought I was strong, thought I was powerful, weather any storm. If not, I can power through. I believed I could fly, reach out and touch the sky. Feel good every time. Now it feels like it's all a lie. Oh, I never believed a lie this long, for so long. It's crazy to see my life drift away. Now I'm calling somebody, please anybody come to my rescue. Why don't you pray for, pray for me? Cause I need, need, need it. My heart is bleed, bleed, bleed it. Why don't you pray for, pray, pray for, for me? Back and cross the line that said I shouldn't cross. I shouldn't cross and take back what is mine. That's whatever I cost. What is dead may never die. But if you look into my eyes, there's no spark to start a fire. Oh, I've never been this tired for long. For so long. Me, I never see this kind of life as high. Now I'm calling somebody. Anybody come to my rescue? Why don't you pray for Cause I need, 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 need. My heart is bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. Pray for me. Pray for, pray for me. Pray for me. There's nowhere left to turn. There's nowhere.
I'm sorry, guys. If I seem distracted, it's because I'm distracted. Um, I think this one remains a fave. Oh, thank you so much. Natasha says, please don't ever give up. The world of music and the world just needs your talent. That's so sweet. Thank you so much, Natasha. Um, yeah. If you, the thing is, eh, look, this song has been out since August. So if you don't know this song, please go get yourself ready. Put it on your playlist now. But yeah, let's move on to the next song. I think it's only fair that I leave Preservation of my sanity I think it's only fair that you go No space in my reality Come to me all those who have been led And I'd give you rest as I assure Bring me to the water, let me wait in Cleanse me, let my spirit Restore. Break every yoke, my Lord that said I should do breaks where are you so what do I do in these breaks please no answers no answers okay let me tell you this is the sort of EP yeah that you're gonna have a different favorite every week for the next you know how many years to come I'm just saying I have a new favorite every week actually it's quite good thank you I'll just start from the beginning all right, moving on to Amen. Though there is a casting down, I see a rising now. Ooh, the tough get going when the going gets tough.
Okay, so um, that was Amen, obviously. Um, with you, Adara. Just have a question. Okay, what has your what has been your relationship with reggae like? My relationship with reggae. Listen, if I could like start all over again, I'll be a reggae artist. <laughs> So when I was younger, um, anyone that grew up in the UK at any point in time can relate to this. It wasn't cool to be African. It was cool to be Caribbean. So um, I just fell in love with like the call. I love their like the Caribbean accent, whether they're from Trini or from Grenada or from Jamaica. I love their accent, the food, the music. My parents played a lot of, my parents were very eccentric with music, but my parents played a lot of like Peter Tosh and Bob Marley and stuff like that so growing up I just really loved the sound um but I just love the culture um as well like it's just really cool like the Rastafarian culture like is really like fascinating to me and yeah also I feel like when I was exploring my sound I fell in love with reggae the most because it was the most comfortable for me to freestyle melodies to and it was the easiest for me to write so I have a very like yeah, like reggae is like my first love in music, you could say. Like, I just really love reggae. Like, I really hope to have a reggae project. Actually, Tears was the child of an idea of doing a reggae fusion project. So if you listen to Tears, produced by Tiwadara, it's reggae infused as well. So yeah, I just really love reggae, man. Reggae is just so cool. Like, if I could listen to one genre for the rest of my life, it'd be reggae. Okay, last song called free and then yeah we'll just wrap it up i'll give you guys some affirmations to breathe in and breathe out and then you can go on your merry way Same shit, babe, different day It's only a shame if I see shit the same way Mistakes are there to, to be made The burden of perfection comes with a different pay It goes one for the money Two for the show Three to get ready Always ready to go It's not a race we're running Come along with me
can all be free. Thank you. Unmute yourself. Talk to me before we go. Come on now. Oh. Yeah. You guys okay? How are we feeling? Fantastic. <laughs> this has been really nice. Has anyone else enjoyed them? Today? See, has anyone else? <laughs> Is there anyone who wouldn't enjoy them? <laughs> Damn, girl, you snapped. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, I have something to say that's really important before I let everyone go. It's 22.30. Thank you for reminding me of the time. So basically, this EP comes out at midnight. And honestly speaking, I wouldn't say the success of it because the success for me is that I've pushed out a body of work that I'm proud of. Um, but the numbers depend on you. The numbers depend on how many times you stream, the numbers depend on how many time, how many playlists they, um, they are saved in. The numbers depend on how many times you share, how many people you share it with. So I ask that if you love this EP, if you appreciate it in any way, shape or form, please stream it, please share, save it in your playlist. Um, send me videos of you vibing to it, like put that on your story. I want to see, I just feel like, the success to me, push the numbers away, is you enjoying it. And I just want to see you enjoy it the way I enjoy it. After this live, I'm going to listen to this again and dance with my fiance because yes, I really want to do that. But um, yeah, thank you so much everyone for joining. Please make sure to share. It will be out at midnight on every single streaming platform that there is. Um, let me know what you think of it. Like, don't keep it to yourself. I feel like my listeners keep it, keep me to themselves. Please don't keep me to yourselves. Share me with the world. Please share my music and yeah, keep it streaming. Even if you leave it, like, and just go away and just like keep it on repeat, please do that. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much. And yeah, the EP is out at midnight. Thank you so much for being here. Bye, everybody. But I want to hear you say bye back. So, yeah, tell me bye. Bye. Bye, bye Debbie. Bye. 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 I'm just going to watch everyone disappear. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. I love you too. I want to do this again. This was so much fun. <laughs> I, um, since you people want to stay with me, I'm just going to end. Go. No, I want to watch them calm down. I came at the end of the listening. Don't go, girl. Don't go. Tom, Tom, why are you here now? Like, what I'm time sorry. do you call this? I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I definitely I needed to apologize publicly because the shame that is on my chest. But yeah, no, it life happened. But I'm glad I got to your face. Thank you for doing this. I better was love you. Thank you. Wait, what time is it where you are? 5 30 right now, 5 30 p.m. Oh man, you still have some hours. <laughs> <laughs> you still have some hours. No. Okay. 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 Are we gonna get to see this like playback or not? Yes. Okay, I'm excited. I was I can, recording. I can sleep well tonight then. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for recording it. Oh no, 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 my pleasure. Thank you for coming on and just saying I, it's really nice to hear your voice. So thank you. Right. Bye. Love you. Bye, lovely, lovely too. Bye. Are you people that have stayed? Wow. You want extra blessing. All right. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. I'm just going to say bye now. And thanks. Bye. Wait, I need to stop recording, right?